Okay, I, this is take three. But this will be what if that you had hydro methylation instead of water methylation since most water methyl mo mo I can't talk, sorry. Are just based off of water bending. Some of them don't let them turn the stuff into ice, and some of them do. But in this one, it will be called hydro manipulation since you can use other stuff except just water and other liquids. So, yeah. He can create it, but we should start off with this parent's origins. Dick Dew's mother's cork is water methylation, but in a lower degree, where she can sp pull small masses of water towards her, and it's very hard to push it away from her. Dick Dew's father's cork is called ice breath, and it's the same as his fire breath. So I try to keep the origins of both of his parents' corks. Were they same, sort of the same, and all that? But so yeah. But when they go to the doctors, oh my God! Can they have to stop? I'm sorry if you can hear the laughter, but probably not. You probably can't catch it on my phone. But he. They would come to the doctors and they would do testing. Testing the water first and testing him breathing, but none of his breaths become colder. So they're gonna fail until the doctor, one of the doctors trips with the coffee, which Ducky would push his hand forward, which the coffee would get shot off against the wall, which would break it three walls to be exact. Um, but I'm sorry for that. My finger got smashed into something since I pace a lot. But it would but after this happens burn marks would appear on his hands. Since it's almost like Deku's soul is connected to the object that he's emithilating is what it seems like, the observation of the doctor. So if he heats up something too much, or you control something too hot, it could hurt him. But of course it's reduced. So yeah. Comes to his eyes, they see him free stuff, but it does make ice appear on his body also. And they learn that he can produce liquids and ice himself and all that so they break it to their parents explaining the withdrawals of his cork first to make sure he doesn't go over the boundaries of his limitations explaining the sort of exchange between uh, temperatures of what he controls and um and it does run off of the stamina, so make sure he doesn't overuse it. But they know most kids' quirks do run off the stamina. So yeah, they would explain the incident with the coffee, explaining the burn marks, and explaining the wall, telling them that his cork can be dangerous, even with those withdrawals. So they would go home, and they would call over Mitsuki, who just got Bakio checked out. And they would go over Bakio to come in, flashing his smoke and little pops. And he would, he would hide his hands behind his back and show them De Deku laughing. And this way, Deku was not the strong kid that followed De or followed Bakugo. But instead of him and Bakugo competed on everything. I wouldn't say every time Deku win, but I wouldn't say every time Bakugo win. So they always try to one-up each other. He would show up his explosions, 
in here that's what Deku's Court Water Manipulation, something cool. And Deku would step his foot forward, which a pillar of ice would shoot towards Bakugo. Not a thick pillar, but more like a staff size. And he would shoot multiple past Bakugo's face, saying, I have hydro manipulation, turning it into water and controlling it. So yeah. Baku would say cool and all that. And they'll they would have five um graduated for their quirks. And this one, Bakugo never has been shown to be the best and anything and nobody just flopped to him. And nobody followed him or Deku. But yeah. Of course, they would grow up, and they would try to compete with the corks. Well, Deku's cork seems to be better fitted to fight against Bakugo, since Deku can jump, he can slide very far back, attack Bakugo from a distance, with close-up attacks that Bakugo can barely dodge. And whenever Bakugo gets close to him, Deku can shoot a wave of um, water. But of course, with this sort of training that they do not know what they're doing, it's they think it's just playing with their corks. Which, in this one, Baku's cork wouldn't just be an average, average strong cork. Instead, he'll be how Todoroki's cork as a kid was so much powerful than normal ones. So, Baku's explosions are more like explosions than um, poppers than anything. They're, you know, those little fireworks or play things that you throw at the ground and they pop. So, yeah, instead of like that, they would look more like a. What would be a representation? I can't say a big firework, but. This is something bigger. But of course they're four, so they can't be firework size. But they would do this in SOG testing stream. He must be trying to um, see if he can uh, react live, live. But yeah. So Deku would um. Him and Baku would have sort of, sort of play and train at the same time until I'd say they're in seventh grade, which by this time their quirks would have grown much stronger than they normally should have. Which the parents of Baku's would think is off too, and ba um, Deku's is too. Since they know the stronger the cork, the more withdrawals Deku's cork would have to have. And Baku's arms are getting strained every day with bruises appearing. So they had to both take both of them to the doctor. And the doctor says the only way is them to train. Which the hero organizations would be told about two kids' quirks or growing much stronger than they're supposed to and they're harming themselves just by activating them once. They come in, Bakugo would have bruises and strained arm, which I'd say one of them's arms are in a brace, or Bak or Deku would have bar marks of stuff across his body all the way up to his neck. So Deku has a sort of burn mark across his neck and cheek right now. They would have to call him Azawa, since Azawa can cancel the cork. And since Azawa's body was trained since his cork is not meant for fighting except canceling corks. Of course they have to get permission from their parents for this train, which they would say anything for their kids, 
I'm gonna get started. This training wouldn't be anything like drastic training, but instead more of channeling your cork and trying to stop it from straining their bodies too much. Bakugos. People say if he did the iron bone training, but if you think about it, his explosions do the same thing as iron bone training. Since they do sh send shock or vibrations through his arm, and that's the same thing that the iron bone training does. Fuck you. Would not be pressured to use his cork, so they wouldn't have actually given him the iron bone training instead. Well, Deku um, is different since Deku's cork can't really be stopped by any transitional means except to using his cork. Deku would be told to make late boiling water, which marks would appear on his fingers, but after much, after a while, he would stop getting burns. And most of his burns would go away, except the one across his cheek and neck, down his back. So yeah. But with this training, Deku would be custom of using his liquids to heat it up. So whenever he heats it up, you can tell whenever it does, since it would sort of start popping with boiling sounds and you hear the sizzling in the air since it is evaporating at the same time. Of course I have to try his stamina since the stronger his court thinks the more stamina it does so he does have to do stamina training which he would have did physical training like push-ups, squats, and by now, they would be nine through all this beginning training. And they would get a new member named Todoroki. <laughs> Shoto Todoroki, I mean. But he would come there and he would come with a boiled burn mark in his eye and a burn across his arm which if you can tell the difference from the boil burn mark and his fire one he'll come in being burnt and to skin pale on his leg from him using his ice cork so much from you know never forcing him to train Oh my god, I hate the snowfications, you know. But yeah. He would come there and he would be added to the group, which he wouldn't talk at all for the duration of it. But Dick you would see his ice cork and Dick you uses his water more often since he uses that the most of training throughout his years and all that, but he's saying that he's only using ice, and Deku would have stomped on the ground whenever Todoroki shows ice, and he would have shot pillars of ice, like several pillars, which would launch him up, and he'll jump to the one of them by the other, which Baku would explode up, and he would get on top of them too. This is whenever Deku would ask Todoroki if he could send up the ball, which Todoroki would do by doing the same pillar move that Deku did. But I would say Shoto or Todoroki has only used his ice in one way, his spikes. So his pillar would be really rough. And Deku would tell him that, why does all your pillars look rough? You need to be able to control your eyes. The ball would be sitting up with Deku jumping 
jumping and kicking it towards Bakio, which Bakio would counter it with explosions and get back. Deku would send out his water shockwave and send it back. And this is a type of play training that they didn't know was training. And they pretty much shoot back the ball with the courts. Which, how they were kind of raised and how the courts were, where they used it a lot, they kind of forgot that you're not supposed to use your courts in public. So whenever guys or people see, probably in an apartment complex, because I think they would send them to like Aizawa's place, which would probably be that. Probably like a bigger one, but nothing too much. But explosions and water and ice being shot around this. And if you guys are wondering, there are training spots that they go to. As I love, but like I said, they were kind of playing was what they were doing out there and all that. Eventually, Todoroki would ask to play, and Deku would say, Can you use your other cork? I seen the burn marks, those were right from boiling water. Unlike the one on your eye. And all that, but he would he would say, yeah, and he would create a fire, which would be crimson red, is what his color, like I mean crimson. So his fire cork instead, since Endeavor says his ice cork is a separate cork and his fire cork is too. It was dubbed the Crimson Phoenix Flames is what his cork was called by his father. It was crimson and all that. And he would shot it at Baku like shooting a ball. But Baku would throw explosion which would counter it. Since these three kids corks or more advanced than others, this would cause a chain reaction of the two forces hitting together, which would pop this ball, which they would get other ones that they would pop, and they would be kind of sad. But this is whenever people would be called over to there, but they would say, is that Izawa lived there? Race your head right? Why is he not dealing with it? So, we would call up a Zyla, saying what's going on. He'd say that I'm off right now, and what's happening. He'd explain what's going on over there. And Zyla had been like those idiots. Send over some people and tell them to stop. Of course, this would be lower rank heroes that are just on patrol. Which, their corpse are probably not for combat, most likely. But of course it would be one of those days that All Might would appear saying, What's wrong? I seen you would call him for help. They would explain what's happening. And All Might would jump over there. He would appear with Deku um just shooting up the ice pillars into a slide, sort of how Shota did with the kids and all that. And it would form an ice slide with Todoroki making a ramp with his ice and with a, like a rough ramp. Yeah. So he would make sort of a battlefield, you could say. Don't ask me why I added the slide, but this is the battlefield. All Might would drop down next to the building and look over. With this sort of battlefield being created. And they'd see as these kids rush through and explode through. With Bakko exploding through it with the speed. Shoto, I'm um, able to pretty much navigate, go through it with his ice. And Deku sitting down 
sending out pulses, just sitting with his hand against the ice. This one never all night would see some kind of liquid, some liquid form on the ice where Bunko is, and it'd shoot off, which it would smack Bunko, but Bunko would block it. And he would explode in the water, saying Deku, with other pillars striking near Bakugo and Todoroki. Deku would say, um, I would say dashing with his eyes and water, sliding across the area, that I can sit through this liquid around me, so this field is my advantage. And all that. But of course, this is whatever Todoroki would say so it is, putting its hand on the ice, one of the ice chunks, and he would have shot a flame through it, like a concentrated flame, he'd like stick out his fingers and shoot one, which would go through multiple, and they would hear Deku talking, and it would shoot an opening hole where Deku is. But, of course, Dick would say, now I know where you are perfectly. And that hole that he just shot would have ice appear. And the tube of ice would shoot out, which would turn into a sort of fist. And it would smack Todoroki. Todoroki smacking the ground, burning, destroying all the ice, which would expose both of all of them. Todoroki would just send a combo attack with ice and fire. Deku would have been the smart one. And what he did is that he shot a blast, but this blast launched him into the air, which I'll say he's heading for a balcony on the apartment complex. Of course, Baku would be dumb and run into it, trying to explode both of them, since his corp is medium range. And Deku's and Todoroki's are close range, or long range. It would smack into each other, exploding both of them. While they would see a sort of water, like, dome on the balcony while they're on the floor. And Deku would be there. Of course, Baku would try to turn towards Deku. And Todoroki would be a little mad and would go for ice that would go up the apartment. But of course, all might would have threw like a small smash, not enough to hurt anybody, but to send a wind to the area saying, what are you kids doing? Where are you tapping each other? Of course, Baku can sort of definitely look at him. So, what do you mean by attacking each other? We're just playing a game. And, of course, um, All Might wouldn't get it correctly, and he'd say, you think attacking each other is a game? What do you mean by that you're using your quirks? But, of course, they would look at each other, him, Abako, and Toroki, would have seen them play like this for a while. And they would have said that we always play like this. What do you mean? Wait, aren't you all my deck, he would say? And he would kind of fanboy out. Which he still is one. But he's not as bad. And of course, Baku would know him a little bit. And Todoroki would sort of have got a little angry thinking of his father. But, of course, Azawa would come around the corner with a bag of food and all that. And he talked to All Might, explaining the situation about the kid's corpse being extremely strong. And that, even though it might seem like they're not playing with the strong corks, how other children play with their corks, it's just that these, these corks are so strong that them using the corks like this, is playing for them. He explained the situation, what he's doing here, and all that since the quirks are strong and they can hurt hurt them. But yeah, but 
right now, when you put stacks on, they would be almost turning 8 or 10, I mean. But if you go by strength, like physical strength, it would be Deku, then Baku, then Todoroki. Since Todoroki just got there, he probably was a little stronger. Or no, it would be Baku, Todoroki, and Baku would be the same. Since Deku's quirk, he trained physically to withstand the stamina that he wastes on using it. And Todoroki and Baku never did that. So, whenever they're at school, Baku has seen that Deku passes them every physical test. And I bet you they had race with each other, even without their quirks. And Deku would win, which Baku and Todoroki would get the idea of training their body like Deku. But yeah, so there's training. And this is where I leave this off. There would be other elements. But goodbye.